Well, hey there, pharmacy owners, Dr. Lisa Foss from Diversify RX, and we're going to be talking about stinging with injections. Now, many pharmacies are either compounding or reselling injectable terzepatide or semaglutide. And what can you do or how can you troubleshoot if the patient feels a stinging sensation? We call this a hot shot. <laughs> and uh we talk about this a lot in my peptide compounding mastery course because it is a common occurrence. Um, it's probably the most common of like the side effects, a burning or, or uh, kind of stinging sensation when you inject. And uh, so let's kind of walk through what, be what might be happening here. So first off, this is typically a pH issue, uh, meaning the pH is too high or too low, and that is causing the stinging sensation whenever it is injected into the body. So if you are compounding this, you always wanna check your pH, and adjust it, make sure it's within the seven. Uh, there's usually a little bit of range that it's okay. Now, if you're reselling somebody else's compounded, um, it could be their pH is off. Um, there's a really easy way to check this. One, uh, get some pH paper. Uh, you might already have some in your pharmacy or you can just order some from Amazon and put a little tiny drop on it and see what the pH is. If it falls into that close around seven, then it may not be a pH issue. So if the pH is perfectly fine, then what's causing this tingling or stinging or burning sensation when somebody injects? Um, here's a couple other things. Uh, ask them to try a different area to inject. Now, you know, kind of logically, scientifically speaking, it shouldn't matter, but we all know in real life it matters. Sometimes somebody injects in their stomach and it stings, they check in their leg and it doesn't, or they, you know, do it in their arm and it stings and they do it in their leg and it doesn't, you know? So always switch up the spot because maybe they just have something biologically, maybe something about that area that makes it a little more likely to sting than other areas. That's okay. So switching up the spots can sometimes completely get rid of it, all right? Um, another suggestion is sometimes it's the cessation of the cold, uh, you know, you take it out of the fridge, you put it up in the syringe and you inject it and it's the cold sensation, not necessarily a pH issue. So if that might be the case, then we recommend drawing up in the syringe your dose, let it sit out uh, just at room temperature, uh, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, don't worry, it's gonna be fine to inject and then inject it. And sometimes just that little bit warming up of the temperature and when you inject it into your warm body is gonna make the difference and your patient won't feel kind of that stinging or the pain upon injection. My last suggestion is sometimes we get a little too eager with our injections and we don't let the alcohol evaporate. So uh, when you're drawing up a dose, you always wipe the top of the vial and you wipe the skin and then you, you know, do your syringe and get the dose and then you inject it. And sometimes we're in a hurry and we don't let that evaporate. And alcohol going into the skin most definitely will sting. Absolutely. So sometimes if you have punctured that vial, maybe when there was a layer of alcohol still on top of it, maybe you didn't let it dry on the skin and you puncture through that alcohol layer, it's going to sting because of that alcohol there. And so if that might be the case, the great thing is just to let it air dry just a little bit longer, get rid of that alcohol layer, and then do the injection and you won't have that stinging. Now, there are just some patients that maybe just their pH is naturally a little bit lower or higher. And if everything is perfect, they're still going to get a little bit of that tingling and burning. As long as you've checked all those things, uh, most importantly, that the product has the right pH, um, sometimes it's, it's just kind of how to have to put up with it. You can put some pressure and some gentle massage on the area, um, you know, right after. Usually it just lasts a few seconds, though. So um, it's important to address with the patent patient. It's important to kind of go through these steps. You want to make sure that they're doing everything correctly. And if everything is correct and they've tried different spots and they're still having a bit of a tingling sensation or stinging or burning sensation, um, it just might be the way their body is and how it kind of reacts to the medication. And if it's not too bothersome to stop therapy, just let them know it's fine. You've double checked everything. Everything's good. And they just happen to won the, the bad side of the lottery of uh, maybe feeling that whenever they inject. So so I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any other questions, you're looking to get into peptide compounding, um, myself and my friend, Dr. Tori, we are putting on our last uh, peptide compounding mastery course in September. So if you're uh, watching this and if you're interested in learning more about that, just comment and I'm happy to send you the link. Otherwise, go check out our blogs. We got tons of free information there, tons of information on some 
plumaglutide, and trizepatide, along with all other aspects of running a profitable independent pharmacy. And we're happy to help you at any time. So talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.